Hi. Hey. Now today I would like to review some of the basic principles of our vocal technique. Okay. Now, the most important is the position of the head, that you feel it pulled up from the back of the head. Mm -hmm. uh, something like a puppet. It's not any different from the women and the men. I still need that position. That gives the larynx complete freedom. And there's no tension then if you lift down. Complete freedom. Yeah. And that also uh, gives us the best condition for our body uh, uh, posture so that it's straight. And then I need, for the breathing, I need your epigostrium. This is how you breathe in. Mm. Yeah, can I see that? Okay, and um, the importance of this is that you always feel you're expanded, that you don't collapse and push the air out. That would come from underneath on your vocal cords. It would not be good. Now, the other thing is the expansion of the back. I need that in your muscles here and your mm -hmm. lumbars. Okay, both of that gives you the support, gives you a lower larynx. And that is uh, the most important thing in singing, is that our larynx is low. We don't want to push oh, to make it low, because that would give us tension. Um, the, uh, the thing that anyone who's looking at this tape will want to know is, can a woman teach a man? Now, I believe uh, that uh, it's not only possible, but the method is the same. Uh, I've noticed uh, very often in my experience from, from other teachers in Germany, for example, that they think, oh, they should re re sing really low, oh, and make room in the lower part of their uh, pharynx, which is wrong, that makes tension. And then they think they should start exercises down and push up, which only creates uh, tension in the throat because you're pushing up a heavy tone. So, therefore, I believe <coughs> that a man should be taught, as a woman, the principles of singing are the same, that you start on the top and work your way down so that you have all of your tones uh, within your control. And you never push up a tone. We don't do that. Uh, this is a very important uh, to anyone who's watching uh, because I was a dramatic soprano and uh, dramatic sopranos sometimes have a bad reputation of pushing up their voice and singing with power. And uh, I don't believe in that. I believe that the lightness in the tone gives the power in the voice and also your breath support. Okay. okay, so there we go. Now, the other thing that is very basic is the opening that you think, I always say, happy ah, or uh, we say in Germany, freudige Überraschung, happy uh, astonished, happy surprise. happy surprise. And it shouldn't be negative. <laughs> Nothing in singing is negative. Okay, so, uh, and that gives us the lift in the soft palate, raises the hard palate and all the roof of your mouth. Then you can be really, really relaxed in your jaw. And that's what I need, together with your, uh, what I call counter pressure. It's not a pressure, but it's a, a feeling of expansion at all times. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, now let's do a few exercises. I start uh, with my men as well as my <coughs> women with light exercises. Okay. What, uh, the, what we want to do is to um, make the vocal cords moist. We shouldn't sing on dry vocal cords. So we uh, start our vocalization light. Okay. Now I'll give you, I think we could start like right here. I think we'll start with our mums. Okay. Don't push any tone, just easy. One more. 
which is going to be from the Vintaraz or the Kutanat. Would you like some water? Are you okay? Um, have some. Yeah. Now, a nice, very easy exercise for moistening, uh, making moisture on the vocal cords is hmm, <coughs> slide. Okay, very mm -hmm. easy. Uh, no pressure in the throat. <laughs> It sounds really good. Um, then uh, the larynx should always be uh, in a relaxed position. Now, uh, I would like to do, um, I think we usually do some doe's. Mm -hmm. Let's try the doe, doe. Uh, we go, let's go down, up, down again. Some tongue. The um, the tongue should be always in a forward position. Okay. Do, do. And the TH is the best of all consonants or diphthongs because it really brings the tongue to okay. the front. You don't have to even worry then about a tone. suggest to you not to look up when you're singing uh, you might start raising your lower jaw okay okay we want to keep the so if you want to look anywhere I would I would pick somewhere straight ahead okay okay no, yeah not good. Not okay then we so won't have that problem the law But I just want to, for you to avoid doing it. Okay. Excellent. is I didn't hear any change for the I heard it all in a line. Yeah, I was oh. trying to do legato like you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already told him. Legato, yeah, yes. I know. <laughs> yeah, legato, sure, sure. Well, we do staccato too, but not right now with these exercises. <laughs> yeah. We do staccato with <laughs> in practicing our, uh, our uh, moving our diaphragm. Okay. okay, that was very good. Now, I believe we also do a do with a th. Let's try the e. Let's see what happens. E? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, with the e, you don't have to do anything special with the tongue. The tongue will do it itself if you think the e. Mm -hmm. So that we don't need do, e, do. Don't need that. Do, e, do, e. Do, e, do, e, do. Okay? okay. 
resonance here as does the th the okay, okay? Um, what I would like to do is a, a few high notes and then I think we'll sing a uh, good okay sure. um, I believe we went in the octave <laughs> you smile you don't yeah. like that so well nobody likes that so well okay <laughs> it's good it's fine all right I uh, believe we did a, a, a da or ma yeah, maybe. Let's try, yeah, yeah, Let's try yeah. the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're going up higher with your eyes up. Straight ahead, your eyes, and then your your head will be in a okay. correct position. Because you don't want the, the tone to start going that way. You want to keep it going diagonally. Okay. Up. Where are we? teach everything uh, true to the work with the beginning and the end and all of the verses. I think I think we might, uh, for the sake of the 20 minute uh, excerpt, uh, do, well let's just see. We'll do okay. the first verse and... Um, yeah, I mean if you, if you want, I mean we could always skip the repeat. 
We do. We I mean, could. We don't you. usually do that, but 20 minutes is not an hour's lesson. So, yeah. okay, let's start in. And um, uh, what I do like... Uh, what I, what I do like is on that third verse of Was soll ich länger weilen? I like the verse and the le. So maybe we'll just skip the second verse. Okay, sure. Okay. Fremd bin ich eingegangen, eingezogen. Mm -hmm. okay. Fremd ziehe ich wieder hinaus. Uh, this was written, uh, as you know, um, he had syphilis and uh, if not the last work, it was one of his very last works before death. And it has a lot of pathos in it, and um, I always, I always, however, think how cynical it is at the end that he says, "Well, it's better I don't tell you I'm leaving my love mm. because your mom wanted marriage and you kept saying love, and, and I got to sneak out." But of course, it is Bitter full sweet. of uh, depressive features and in the whole thing, and he has to go out into the winter, which mm. is. Not only physical, but mental and emotional. Okay, now let me see if this is better with my glass. Oh, that is better. discuss is your very first note. The friend. Yeah. Now, we're starting from the top, which is very good for my uh, kind of teaching. I like that you think always you have your highest note in you when you sing, which is a lot higher than that. Mm -hmm. You sang up to an F, I think you did. Mm -hmm. uh, so don't reach for that note or don't think it's anything really super uh, um, technically difficult. Yeah. yeah, give me a nice if, if you, the consonants will always help you. Okay. Fremd, roll your R a little bit. Okay, I'll try it. Okay, this man was born in Germany, so he knows. Fremd. And, and, and don't come in too late. If you do, you get hurried, yeah? So, fremd, you gotta start the fr before you even get to the note. <laughs> okay. All right? Yep. the first one. Yeah. Okay, can I start just there or do you want blue? No, we don't need to. We can just start from this mention. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't want to hear your uh, breath. Take it. You've got time. Das, das Mädchen sprach. Das Mädchen. I need an open A. Ah. Hey. Das Mädchen sprach und liebe die Mutter Die Mutter, die Mutter. Die Mutter. No, you, you stop. 
before you take the move. Okay. Can you connect those two? D mu, D mu ta. Okay, it's a D that's wrong. As soon as you get an E like this, you're gonna get an ooh that's wrong. Okay. I think the E a little bit like the umlaut u in German. D D mu, D mu. expressive when you know something well so just think a little bit more give and take a little bit more expressive what are you saying die Welt ist so trübe okay you know? I know that's a lot to ask when we're just beginning a new piece but no it'll be fun let's just let's make let's... make okay. it easier for yourself okay okay I think sure. you're working too hard <laughs> okay let's go in was was soll ich länger weilen let's go okay. into the third one okay okay sure Uh, uh, 
Yeah, you got to think of the end when you're at the beginning. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't take too much ritadondo mm -hmm. when you know it. It should go all No, all the, case right. was, the case was felt really comfortable to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do the two anti once more. Okay. <laughs> so, and, and just, you know, line what you're saying. Use your mm -hmm. text. So are we, are we going to start from the Schreiben vorüber again? Because the... Would you like to? Oh, uh, might might be easier for me to get in just Would because... Would be easier for you to get in. Yeah. Sure, sure. Oh, <coughs> uh, what, I, what I want you to know is you have a lot wrong note here. I think you, I think you took uh, a C Wait, or something. You, where are we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I took okay. that too low. That's yeah. the only thing. And yeah. the difference between Zian yeah. and Mädchen is there are two different E's. Zian is closed. It's a closed E. Yeah. Mädchen is open. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll start at Schreib. Schreib in. I'll give you. Ah, let's do it right. G? G. It has G. like an E in the end. Yeah. It's very close. I always found that really hard to do, but I know what you mean. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, it, it'd be nice if you could. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you ever sing Wagner, you will have to. My, my German's been so, it's so rusty. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it, it sounds good. Okay, let's try it again. All right. <coughs> Was too well, are, are we just doing just the the actual bar of the so dumb, bum, well, shrek? Well, I wasn't, but we will. Uh, I was going to give you the two. Um, no, I don't need fate, slag, schlager. All right, yeah. Well, I'll give you one. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here's your note. Yeah. I and, and do the shrek. It was so wonderful in the beginning where you did the the consonants. Before the Schreib. tone comes. Schreib. yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And uh, one of the things, too, that helps you so much with your beginning, so that you don't get inhibited at any rate, is getting those consonants in before the tone comes. That yeah. really helps. Well, it's, 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 it's an odd thing. Like, um, when, I, when I start thinking about the consonants, I stop thinking about the fact that it's a high note, because I'm just I'm more focused on right. the consonants. So it's like, yeah, yeah. the note doesn't seem like it's so much of And it gives you the freedom with your tongue. Tongue yeah. is in the right position. And it yeah. Takes it right into your head. Yeah. Plus, it's the, the fun thing about German, about the consonants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the umlauts, we love those. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. That was an excellent lesson. Well, thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Okay. <laughs>